welcome to another new week it's a new monday a brand new monday and i hope you are as excited as i am to bring you joy news interactive i am apita sibidi and we're live from digital address ga 099 in kokomemli accra you can also watch on dstv channel 421 and go tv channel 144 you can join the conversation on twitter and facebook we are Joy News on TV. It's Monday and you know what that means. We bring you our Monday motivation and it's proudly brought to you by our producer, Derek, Derek Echo Sam. Enjoy. You're flying economy or your flying business, the destination where you're heading remains the same, isn't it? Whether you're wearing a simple fast track or you wear an Omega or a Rolex, the time remains the same, isn't it? It's quite amazing how we work ourselves up so much with increasing the standard of living that we forget to increase the standard of our life. And which is why wherever I travel, I make an appeal to people. There's nothing wrong with an Omega. There's nothing wrong with a Bentley. God bless you with that. And if you have it, drive it. No problem. But in trying to enhance and increase and improvise the standard of your living, please, please, do not compromise with the standard of your life. It's not the standard of your living that makes you happy. It's the standard of your life that makes you happy. And very often, we forget to give attention to those things that can truly make us happy. Which is why uh, I, 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 I always say, things that I'm talking about, they have utility value, right? Not happiness value. Travel business class or first class? Travel, no problem. Drive a Bentley, no problem. But in doing so, Never, ever compromise on those principles that also improve the standard of your life. And therefore, I always say, some people are so poor, so poor, so absolutely poor that all they have is money. That's all they have. That's all they have. I consider that life a poverty-stricken life. If all you have is money, you're the poorest person in the world. Because there's more to life than money. And there's way more to life than what money can buy. And therefore, I many times say, if you want to truly know how rich you are, drop a tear and see how many hands come forth to wipe that tear. Now that's our Monday motivation for you guys. But the contests have begun and I'm talking about the 2018 National Science and Maths Quiz. At the end of round one, Berkum Presby SHS is on 13, Tamil Girls SHS is 12 and San Dema SHS is on 11 points. With round two, the Berkum Presby SHS has 10 points, Tamil Girls SHS has 14 and Sandema SHTS has seven. Stay tuned to all your national science and maths quiz fillers. But let's start from Parliament as we discuss the back and forth concerning the Ghana card. The minority seems to have an issue with it and has threatened to boycott the registration exercise at Parliament, citing legal and procurement and cost concerns. Now, in a statement, a minority leader and Tamil South MP said that National Identification Authority has not been honest with the Ghanaian people over the cost of the project with two figures. So the first one is the $1.4 billion, and the second one is the $293 million, according to reports. Now, the registration exercise is a key government initiative to collect data for economic planning purposes and also to formalize the economy. So you guys have been reacting to this on Facebook. Let's take some of your comments and thoughts on that. Uh, now, Samuel Adu Jr. says, it is very reasonable 
that criteria to be used for the registration will deny many Ghanaians their rights to be nationalized. Let's think a little bit as a nation and save our country. And as Ajay Jr. says, we should uh, politicize, uh, politicize everything the NIA should meet the parliament before the registration. So I think he says we should not politicize everything. The NIA should meet the parliament before the registration starts. But Kevin Moses comes in to say that NDC shame or shame. Why are you people uh, don't like, why do you people don't like th good things for this country? So why do you people not like good things for this country? Michael says the minority has become too petty. Uh, Prince of War says if they don't like it, we want it. And he got one thumbs up on that comment. Uh, that's Prince. He says, if they don't like it, we want it. But Nana Ampa says, NHIS on my mind. Emmanuel says, so what is wrong when you make a projection and it turned out being bad? Then you sat down to look at it keenly and cut down the cost to make it appropriate for the benefits of their country. It's, it is bad to cut down cost from $1.4 billion to $270 million. And he's asking that question that is it bad to cut down the cost? And at Valanio Akotia says, I hope the minority MPs in parliament should boycott the ongoing Ghana card registrations. After the exercise, any MP who did not register cannot come to the parliament as a member of parliament. They will count themselves as non ghanaians Therefore, they cannot operate in Ghanaian parliament if they don't know the consequences behind their boycotting. Now let's turn our attention to the Nyantechi saga. Following the release of Anas number 12, FIFA has banned Mr. Nyantechi, who has also attended in his resignation as president of the Ghana Football Association. Well, he is mounting a strong defense. Let's go to my join line. So it's an exclusive. It was a $40,000 uh, refund and not a $65,000 uh, $65, Right. Nyantechi said to challenge um, Anas. Okay, so let's see if we can get a few on that. Okay, so Ghana Football Association President Kwesi Nyantechi is expected to give a comprehensive reaction to allegations of bribery that has resulted in his resignation. Close sources say the amount was not $65,000 as alleged by Anas Aramaya Anas whose private investigation company Tiger IPI sent agents posing as investors to implicate him in unethical conduct, corruption and bribery. So the amount is $40,000 reimbursement for three trips to Dubai, which Nyantaji uh, pre-financed at myjoyonline.com has been told. So you can continue and read that story. Uh, we've got that on my Joy Online an exclusive so we can go to face because you guys also have been reacting on this when saying that uh, it has it was a reimbursement and not a bribe so let's see if we can get those comments on that okay but Frank says if the deal went through he would have bagged 4.5 million US dollars uh, through his newly set up business I can't believe some people taking Yantaji's side and he got eight reactions to that comment. Uh, but Martin Afari says, Kwesi is a smart guy. He's making a case for Anas and his lawyers to prove beyond reasonable doubt that he did fall for the bribe bait. One thing Ghanaian should know is there's a huge difference between the court of public opinion and the law court. And Martin has four reactions. But Suleiman says, in that case, I believe that Kwesi is right. He was blackmailed. This isn't fair. With the way things are unfolding, probably Kwesi will be exo exonerated someday. We pray, we pray, we pray. And Albert's ministry EA says, was he the only person bribed? Why, uh, why is it that others didn't accept? 
It implies that Kwesi, or whatsoever you called him, is corrupt. Why could he in the first place take something when he knows very well that it is not right? Was he being forced? No, he took the money willingly, meaning he is corrupt. Walanya Gilbert says, that can be true, but the aftermath of that money might make him a corrupt person. His de decision to divert the sponsorship into percentages for personal exploits might have a huge luggage of corruption on him. And at Turf Gong Jr. says, please, Mr. Nyantachi, the point is most Ghanaians are fed up with you as our GFA president, regardless of the corruption and bragging saga. And at Kofi Daku says, I'm beginning to understand those questioning the style of Anas. If that's really a refund, why then is Anas showing it as a bribe? Anas, some people want to learn from me, but this style of yours needs to change. Kwame Owusu says, and using the president, the vice president's name and Anthony Kabo's name is also refund, right? Kwesi, please. So Emmanuel says this man should have uh, been in jail by now. Uh, Emmanuel got five reactions. And Boating Yao says, now we don't believe you anymore. If Nyantachi says sit, you better stand or else. And that one got three replies, three reactions. Jerry Justice Bar says no one should worry about this man. He's just using def a defensive mechanism. And Abraham Aqua says, hmm, very funny. But what I watched and hear from his own mouth, he has a lot to defend. And Nzuri Samuel says, this man, this man is funny. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I can't laugh. More comments on that Nyantichi saga. Uh, Ricky Afreya says, refund. So why was it not paid into the GFA account? And why was he saying thank you for it? So, and this one's from Gabriel who says, even if it was $0.5, you've accepted. So those are your comments on Facebook. Do keep them coming. We are Joy News on TV. We're going to take a quick breather. When we come back, we'll be talking Ghana meets Niger. Welcome back from that breather. You're still watching Joy News Interactive with me, Mapita CBD. Remember, you can join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. Now let's start with Ghana meets Niger. Man, oh man, what a night. If you are not there, my friend, what were you doing with your life? I mean, we were there, we were shaku shaku, we were aquabar. If you are not there, check your life, okay? Check your life. But let's go to Twitter. You guys have been just going crazy saying hashtag Ghana meets Niger was the best. 2018 edition was the best. So let's see what you guys have been saying. It's been trending. It's been trending. If you are, Like I said, if you're not there, Aquaba ring and whatnot. So as you can see on your screens, it was trending. The first trend, hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18. It was Hectic fantasy, fantasy Dome was also trending. That's the venue where it was held. And Shatawali was also trending. But let's see some of your tweets on hashtag Ghana meets Niger. So this one is at Pata uh, pa, and uh, at Amnesty, uh, who says, God is king and the ruler. Let's bow to him and give thanks after hard day's work. At Valeria Official, long live hashtag Pata. Uh, Pata uh, Pa to pa movement, hashtag empire, hashtag Ghana meets Niger. All right, so we've got that video and Pata PZ was just off the hook. They say Pata PZ saved Ghana and that's why, you know what, the award went to Ghana. Let's watch that video. <laughs>
because I mean, no, it's get okay. Pretty anyway, much today. Okay, we're going to Twitter now. Hashtag. Like I told you guys, I'm in a very good mood. It's a good Monday. I'm trying to, you know, just transfer my energy to you guys. Let's go to Twitter at MM Minton says. Shatawali is the only artist who trended and still trending on Twitter after the hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18. And he comes back to say that these should tell this should tell you that he's indeed some different guy. And at let, let's see if we can get to that tweet. At my goodness, uh, GH says, aside the outstanding performance at I Am King Promise, shown high level of humility and received blessing from at Mugiz, uh, Mugiz, hashtag CCTV, hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18, hashtag my goodness, GH. Oh, oh my gosh, CCTV guys. I mean, that's a jam. Let's see how um, Mr. CCTV himself got the blessings from Mugiz. <laughs> Even if I walk through the valley of death, I know the fear every day be ja Okay, you know what? I won't, I won't do it. Let's go to Twitter. Let's go to Twitter and see what you guys have been saying. At Goody underscore GH says, hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18. You spent 400 Ghana CDs on a Ghana meets Niger ticket and gave only five Ghana CDs as offering in church today. Hmm. Don't be surprised if next week's sermon sounds piercing. Your pasta is actually warming up for you and at Javon Caleb says Chale Pata Pizzi and his team man we the Jama Nation salute you you brought your A game on stage hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18 and at Echo Sun you see GH says so which country will Mr. Easy represent hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18 and at CMJ official underscore says, why hasn't any edition of Ghana Meets Niger been hosted in Nigeria yet? Hashtag Ghana Meets Niger 18. And that question came up a lot. So we're like, why isn't Ghana going to Nigeria? And why is Nigeria coming to Ghana instead? You know, next year, maybe we should go to Nigeria. Let's go to Nigeria next year. You know, Ghana Meets Nigeria in Nigeria. Let's see if we can get another tweet. At Biggest says, uh, hashtag Ghana Meets Niger 18. You're sitting at home asking why there are empty seats. You dear, you buy the ticket, go watch some, as like you go die. And that uh, at young underscore wonder 99 says, Nigeria already won the hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18 because of whiz kid. There's nothing to discuss here. I'm speaking my mind. And at Nicholas underscore Doku says, though, because of Anas, people are dancing with caution. Now, speaking of Anas, some people in their performances decided that, you know what, they just want to credit him and they just want to shout out him. Let's check out how people did that. <laughs> So Anas was trending at the GFA, he was, he was also trending at Ghana meets Niger. Let's see if we can get more of your tweets on that. At King Nor says, it's like I'm the only one who didn't go to Ghana meets Niger 18. And at its underscore stick says, was Patapizi the JAMA leader in school? All his tracks are JAMA, hashtag Ghana meets Niger 18. 
Now, my producer posted a picture of the day. Let's see if we can get that. It's quite an interesting picture of the day. Uh, and you guys commented on that. So here's the picture of the day. And it says, for a happy life, give the money to your wife. Um, lovely picture there. Uh, so for a happy life, give the money to your wife. But what happens when you don't have a wife? Who do you give the money to? Let's see if we can get your comments on that. For a happy life, give your money to your wife. Okay. Uh, and of course here says, oh yes, 3 billion percent right. And at Nero says, thank God this road doesn't look like Ghana. Uh, so, and at Papa Wan, she says, a thousand percent right, but not the wives of this generation. Well, at uh, Issa Muhammad, where he says, nah, true, or, I did that in my house and come and see happiness, but she's still demanding for more. Hashtag woman and money. I mean, if she's demanding for more, then give her more. And at Apia, of course, he says, God forbid. And at uh, Anasi says, not in Ghana, why? And Peter says, what does Peter say? Okay, so that's the picture of the day for happy life. Give the money to your wife. All right, it's been a wonderful edition, a uh, Monday edition of Joy News Interactive with me, Mapito Sibidi. Remember, you can stay interactive with us on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. Have yourselves a blessed day. Thank you for watching.